In this video, I will be replacing the frunk spring, which helps in unlatching the hood. I purchased this spring on Amazon. It's a Century Spring C77, 1 and 7 8 inch extension spring with an 11 30 seconds inch outside diameter. The link is in the description. The larger spring shown here is the one that comes with the Model 3. After removing it, I will keep it as a backup. The new spring is much smaller and is much looser and makes it easier to latch the Model 3 hood. First I remove the latch cover panel which houses the emergency button and light. This is connected by a wire so carefully lay it off to the side. Here is where the spring is located. It's part of the latch mechanism. Grasp one end of the spring with a pair of needle nose pliers. Slowly stretch the spring a little bit to unhook it from the metal hook. Lift off and remove the spring. This is how it compares to the new spring. Now simply pull the spring over one end and stretch it over to the other metal hook. You can do this without using any tools. Now place the latch cover panel back on and snap it into place. Just as a warning, a couple of purchasers have commented that the spring was too weak to open the hood by itself, so please use caution if you do this modification. I do have the frunk strut replacements which are much stronger than the factory struts. I have had a few comments in previous videos regarding how I closed my hood with one hand. This is how you properly close the hood of the Model 3. Press your palms on both sides of the Tesla emblem. You can see the diagram provided in the user manual to show the exact location in green. You have to use light pressure because even using both palms the aluminum in the hood will still flex. If you press the Tesla emblem or use two fingers to close, there is a chance of damaging the hood causing a dent or a crease due to concentrated force in one area. I have been using this spring for over two months and had no issues. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.